So Jay Leno recently just bashed Cole Sr. from Orange County Choppers with these comments right here. You had one from OCC, right? Oh, that's the biggest piece of junk. <laughs> it's a, you know something? I'm, I was so... And now Paul Senior is shooting back. Let's get into it. Shout out to the ghosts and the ghost sets. Welcome to Demons Row TV, the holy grail of MC culture, where we cover everything motorcycle and motorcycle club and Bob. I'm Sos the Ghost. I'm your host for the evening. I always see a lot of videos where they talk about why you should never buy an Orange County chopper or the videos saying how bad Paul Senior's bikes are. And the people that have a lot of comments, I don't see them making better bikes. Things go wrong with motorcycles. It happens all the time, but a lot of people have said the same thing. So let's get into this footage of Paul Sr. responding to the hate and responding to Jay Leno's comment. Cycle Drag Universe, we had a video go viral and we got to do a little follow up. It involves two legends. I'm here with one of them, Mr. Paul Tuttle. Always good to see you. Let's, let's hope he's uh, not in too bad of a mood right now because Paul, something crazy happened. Yeah. Had an opportunity to go into Jay Leno's garage, a man who we all respect for what he did in television. But what he said about Orange County Choppers was, was not only surprising, it garnered 2 million views in five days. I, I want to let you hear a little bit of what Mr. Leno said here on Cycle Drag. It's over, right? I, I'm glad it's over. Right? I never got the idea of make it slower more dangerous without brakes. Let me know what you think about what he just said right now about choppers. One thing about choppers that I never understood, and y'all can hammer me in the comments if you don't agree with this, but the, the seats, the seats that are just wood, why would you want to sit on that when you're riding, hitting, you know, some real crazy roads out there, potholes? I don't know why a person would like to feel that on the bottom of their ass. Let me know in the comments. I can't really relate to that. Not to smash on choppers, but what do you think about that aspect? You have one from OCC, right? Oh, that's the biggest piece of junk. <laughs> it's a, you know something? I'm, I was so... And how bad it was built. You know, <laughs> they bought an engine from a guy who did a nice job mm -hmm. built a motor. A guy out of the land. It's a Harley Knuckle replica motor. And the motor's fine. You know, I was riding it, and it stops on me. And I realized the electrical system is, is fused through the rear taillight. So if the rear tail light breaks or blows out, the whole bike stops. Oh gosh. I'm like, this is, I thought it was dangerous. It didn't stop. Uh, geometry, the steering, it was just, yeah. I mean, they were meant to be, you build one for the fire department, it looks like a fire engine. You build one for the sure. mail, postal service, it looks like a mail carrier. What do you think about his comment right there where he said like, if it's for postal service, it was like a postal bike or the, you know, the infamous fireman bike. I think that that's creativity. Like, why would we put creativity down? But I understand his point too. If I had bought a bike and I had spent a lot of money, that's one thing I don't know if he spent or if it was a gift, who knows? He probably spent, you know, good money on it. If he spent money on it and then you go on the road and it breaks down, I would be upset too. But how do you feel about going on camera and talking about it though? Is it hating jumping on the camera and talking about it? Shouldn't it just been a phone call between the two men and then it be hashed out? Or do you think he's just keeping it real? We know he's not lying. He's telling the truth. He has no reason to lie. But should it have been done as a private conversation? Or is it okay for him to talk about it because it really happened? Let me know what you think about that. Hopefully the Tuttle's honored your warranty on that one, on that phone. No, thank you. <laughs> They're down by me now in Clearwater, Paul Sr. is, and, and he says the same thing. He has a lot of his choppers on display at a bar, and he says, hey, these weren't made to go cross country. These were made to take no, the bike nice. they weren't made to go across the bar. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Paul. So, so Jay says not made to go across the bar. Could you please give us your interpretation of these surprising comments and what you would like to say? Well... You know, he said that uh, he had a shortened the taillight. Well, that's 
I mean, it's very possible, you know. It could have, you know, they're, they're choppers, you know. Any, any bike builder, the best or whatever, you know, they're motorcycles, you know. They, we have issues. Harley has issues with motorcycles. I'm brand new, I've had brand new Harleys who try to get out on the road and broke down, had to be picked up. So that kind of stuff happens, you know. But for him to say that the, the brakes on that were, were HHI brakes, calipers, they're the best. Them, uh, uh, a P&M, they're, they're the best. And so if you look at everything that that bike was built with, uh, the, the front end, Jerry Springer, uh, and to try to keep the bike as much to uh, look as, as, as much as he did uh, of the existing bike that he had, um, if you look at, when, when you say that the geometry's off the bike. Geometry's all off it. Yeah. Sure. Do you still have it? A stock Harley is 35 degrees. That's a soft tail. The bike, that bike was 35 degrees. So where, how could the, why would the geometry be off? Why would, why would the bike not break? They're, they're disc brakes, front and back dual disc brakes. How do you, how do you, uh, how do you justify not, the, 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 the transmission was a Baker transmission. Uh, that motor was done by Accutronics. It was a twenty-five thousand dollar motor. So I guess I guess I guess my my point is if I if it if it was me, I mean I'd be kind of I'd kind of be grateful for somebody to give me a fucking bike, you know, and then wait twenty twenty-one years later and complain about stuff that I, I don't know. So from the context of what he said right there, it sounds like the bike was a gift. Let me know if you know if that's what it was. I will be speaking to Paul soon. I was talking to him earlier today, so we got some things in the works. But if he gave you the bike as a gift, I think that's foul. Like, what do you think about that? Let me know. Somebody gives you a gift and then, you know, something goes wrong with it. Then you go to the media and say, like, you know, oh, it was trash. So people's work is like everything to them. So to just say it in the media like that, I don't know. What do you think about that? grumpy and <laughs> well here here's what i'll say jay still has the bike so i think that speaks volumes i think too that perhaps maybe he was being facetious maybe a little sarcastic he's a comedian trying to be funny i think if there was one thing that bothered him nah, it was he his meant breakdown that. that he had and i think you guys talked about that on the tonight show right one thing i'm not going for in this scenario is that he's a comedian and he's joking i mean obviously he's a comedian but he wasn't joking around he was literally saying like the bike is crap Tonight show four times with him, so which kind of it, it kind of surprises me even more because it's kind of like you know that was done past we spoke about that it was corrected uh, you know and and even you know it, it, it was kind of made a, a joke of you know but you know he rode the bike and was seen riding the bike many times uh, after that. So I was kind of taken back that he would like uh, try to knock me like that, you know. Uh, I thought that, uh, you know, even going back, you know, we had a, a fairly good relation. You know, he had me on the show uh, four times. Between you and Jay Leno, two men that I both have great respect for. But, but is it safe to say after Mr. Leno said these comments, he may not be getting a Christmas card from you this year? No, I don't think he'll be. I don't think you'll be getting a Christmas card, but uh, you know when it it could possibly a lot could have to be uh, to do with this is because I've always was a, a Letterman fan, like a big Letterman fan. I've been on Letterman probably seven. I've been on Leno probably four times. Four times. Uh, once with uh, Trump was on there. Uh, what's his name? Um, uh, Smokey and Abandoned, but um, Burt Reynolds. Burt Reynolds. Burt Reynolds. Uh, and then two other times. But I was on with um, Letterman probably at least seven times. I was on with uh, 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 Bruce Willis, uh, Rocky, uh, like just about. And every time that, w that we went on Letterman, I brought my bikes down there, the fireman bike. And we would ride the bikes. Like after the show, whoever was on the show, we would get on the bikes, including Letterman, and we would just ride all around the city. <laughs> wow. Yeah. And what I liked, to be honest with you, what I really liked about Letterman is that there was no cue cards. Like, 
you got out on stage and whatever role, whatever you talked about or whatever you did, that's that's what is what happened. When you're on uh, Leno, he has cue cards, and to me that's like a, it's like a cheat, like it's a bullshit thing. You know what I mean? Yeah. If you're gonna go on, and you're gonna talk about stuff. Well, then let's talk about it. You know what I mean? What's you know what really yeah, what, what really what really happened? You know when you're starting a conversation with somebody and your you know your cue card is taking you in a different direction, it kind of fucks everything up. I agree with that 100. percent It's okay to have notes if you're someone that's starting a channel or you're doing interviews or anything. It's okay to have notes so you don't forget certain questions if they're like important. But if somebody's flowing, don't stop them to read like a cue card or whatever because that's just so unnatural. You know, it was it was a very uh i found it awkward especially you do re reality tv it's real you know you're you're what, what's happening in the moment where when you're on uh, letterman <laughs> whatever happens happens you know and uh so i always uh i always appreciated uh uh letterman show much and 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 it has nothing to do with really the, all the bullshit and talking the shit that he uh was talking but uh yeah, I was always a, a Letterman, uh, a Letterman fan, you know. Well, that's great insight and information. Let me let me throw it back to you. Do you think maybe that could be the root cause? Maybe Jay realizes you went on the Letterman show twice as much. Big ratings over there. Big rivalry between Dave and Jay. Could that it be could the root? Re it could be. Wow. It could be. So they have a whole full interview. They keep going. I'll link that down in the description. The Cycle Drags channel. He did a great job, you know. This whole beef thing kind of stirring it up a little bit, but it's not his fault. Jay Leno just started throwing shots when he asked him the question about the Orange County Choppers bike. A lot of people downgrade people's work, but at the end of the day, they can't do the same type of work. Let me know in the comments a question that you would ask Paul Senior if you have one question to ask him and get your Gosavelli riding mask now. Go on www demonsroad.com i got another video where i talk about all the drama that went down in hollywood with the bikers jumping ian zering of beverly hills 90210 it'll be linked above and thank you for tuning in the demons road tv the holy grail of mc culture like subscribe and comment no yeah we ghosting baby